on Saturday, I took a drive down to uh, Dunville. Nice sunny day, a great day for a drive. I, I stopped in to see uh, a friend of mine. Uh, she had recently cut down a tree, so I, I needed some wood targets for uh, for axes. So, so we went for a little drive down to uh, to a little farm just outside of Dunville. We saw Nicole and Jeff and uh, and their son. And uh, on the way, I took a wrong turn. Um, I'd like to blame it on the car, actually. There there are uh, uh, two roads that have very similar names. Uh, they're about 10 kilometers apart. So the uh, navigation system took me to the other one, and I, I'd only been to Nicole and Jeff's place once before, so I, I didn't know any different. But anyway, uh, we ended up going a little bit further south than we intended and actually ran into the, uh, uh, into the lake. Um, Somebody had asked me yesterday, actually, about the uh, the videos for the hymns for yesterday's worship. So that that one uh, of the foggy lake with the with the waves coming in, uh, that that was actually Dunville. That's where that was taken. Now we've all seen fog before. I mean, there, there's nothing really remarkable about that per se, but there there was something very interesting about the fog that we did encounter though on on Saturday. Because uh, the fog was really, really dense, but also very, very localized. Meaning that uh, we, we would be in the full sunlight, driving down Little Country Road, having a wonderful time. And 30 or 40 meters away would be this impenetrable wall that just you couldn't see through. You had no idea whether there was fields or forest or, or anything on the other side of that. So it, it was uh, it was very interesting just that that sharp dividing line between where the fog was and where the fog was not, and what made it even more fascinating to me, more wondrous, is the fact that it was uh, it, it was very distinctly stratified. So it wasn't just uh, distinct between here and there, being in the fog and out of it, um, but up and down as well too. So there there were distinct bands of fog. So as we were driving, we would uh, see a, a windmill. There are plenty of windmills, of course, because it, it's near the shoreline there. And we'd be able to see the, the base of the windmill absolutely clearly, and, and the tips of the blades rotating up at the top. But the entire central portion would be obscured. And, and I don't just mean it, it was hazy and hard to see. I mean, like, just impenetrable. It was just impossible to see. It was completely concealed. And uh, I had never seen anything quite like that. I'd seen similar things, of course, but uh, not to that degree uh, of that, you know, the fog as like a very present solid thing uh, with these really strict delineations as to where it was and where it was not. And, and it got me thinking, you know, that as we uh, as we look at situations and people and just look at the world in general, there are some parts of it that are absolutely crystal clear, that, that we can see with no problem at all, absolute clarity. And then there are other things that are fully concealed, that we're ignorant to their very presence. We have no clue that they're even there. And, and that, to me, is, uh, is both wonderful and, and also humbling as well, too. Because as human beings, and uh, I, I'm probably more guilty of this than many other folks, it's so easy to uh, uh, just jump into judgment that as uh, as I, I look at situations around the world, within my community, it's so easy for me to determine and say, well, this is right and this is wrong. But Saturday's experience was, um, was actually a good little reminder to myself that uh, there are things that I am completely oblivious to, things that are absolutely obscured. <laughs> Uh, St. Paul writes about uh, us perceiving the world as through a looking glass dimly. And uh, that's a, a wonderful image, a, a fantastic image. So my, my experience with the fog that I share with you is my cautionary tale to myself and to all of us, really, um, to be humble when we judge other people's situations and when we judge other people's viewpoints. That though there are some things that we see clearly from our particular point of view, from a different perspective, 
things are entirely different. Actually, a friend of mine, Jay, sent me a, a video yesterday that was specifically all about this, about our, our moral interpretive filters and how we can look at the same thing and come to completely different conclusions. So today, I, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut a little bit more, once I'm finished the video, of course, and observe and try not to judge too harshly. And to remember that uh, that I have massive blind spots that I, I'm not even aware of. And I pray that you will have a wonderful day. So in the sun, in the fog, wherever you may be, may God's blessing be upon you.